Want to add plugins, improve performance, and unlock way more control of your Minecraft server? You'll need to switch from vanilla to spigot, and here's exactly how to do it without breaking your world. In this guide, we'll walk you through safely converting your vanilla server to spigot, so you can keep your nether end on overworld progress while unlocking spigot's powerful features and plugin support. This tutorial is made for Spartos servers, but the steps will work on most hosting platforms. If you're not already with Spartos, switching can save you up to 230% on hosting costs with hardware that's 37% faster. And you get 24-7 expert support too. Check the link in the description to learn more. So, why switch from vanilla to spigot? Vanilla is great for basic gameplay, but spigot gives you way more control and tools. It gives you plugin support, performance boosts, and custom settings. Spigot is optimized to run smoother than vanilla, plus you won't lose your world, even the nether and end. Keep in mind that the steps are pretty confusing, so please pay attention. Step 1. We need to backup our Minecraft world. We can do that by opening our file manager and spotting our world file, clicking on the three dots next to it, and click archive. You can select whichever, but personally I prefer zip. And this will create a backup of your world just in case anything goes wrong. It's recommended you download it to your computer as well. Now let's switch your server to Spigot. Step 1, you need to close your server and then head over to the versions tab in the Apollo panel. Select Spigot and select the version you want to use. Me personally, I'm going to go with the latest one and make sure not to tick this. Click install. You may now start your server. Your server is now running Spigot, but your world isn't fully migrated yet. Now that our server is started, we may continue the migration process. The overworld usually transfers fine, but the nether and end use different folder names in Spigot. We need to stop our server again, and please make sure to extract the file we just downloaded. We should find two folders in our world called dim1 and dim-1. dim-1 is the nether, and dim-1 is the end. And now all we need to do is rename the dim-1 the nether folder to world-nether and we need to rename this to world-end now all you need to do is drag and drop everything here to the server after that is done we may start our server again and test our server is now running i have placed a soul campfire in each world to test this let's test the end first as you can see, all the campfires are still here. Now let's test the nether. As you can see, all my campfires are still here as well. So, our migration completed successfully. If you have any questions about this, please drop a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe if this guide helped you. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.